So what's up, y'all, everybody? This is Yolanda coming to you once again with another moment with Yolanda um, thinking again. And, you know, sometimes when we miss the mark, it's easy to continue to miss the mark, right? Um, it's easy to say, well, I've messed up, I've made a mistake. And instead of moving forward, turning from it, repenting, asking God to uh, forgive us and to shift us forward, we, we get stuck. We like, we stay there and we sort of re-rehearse, overanalyze, continue to think about what we did that or didn't do that um, wasn't up to, up to par. And um, then we get stagnant in that, right? So I wanted to encourage you today that as all of us, because we are human and we're flesh, tend to say things, do things, go places, absorb things, think things. And that's really a major one, thinking it too. Um, all of that. And um, we have then allowed that to cripple us from moving forward because we've not allowed the Holy Spirit to wash us, to show us, direct us, to get us back on track. We just we just get stuck, right? I'm encouraging you, I'm encouraging you again today to become unstuck. Even when it's something that you allowed yourself to get into, right? Even when it's something that you have done. Because it's really uh, self-condemnation that stifles us and keeps us like, Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did such and such. Uh, I'm, I'm back here again. I, I made a mistake again. And it's the, the brutal self-condemnation that we allow ourselves to get into that does not allow us to move forward. The scripture says, there is therefore no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There's a difference when you're in Christ Jesus, because when you're in him, he, rep he reproves you, he rebukes you, he chastens you so that you can launch forward. When you're not in Christ, you feel self-condemnation. You feel like, oh my gosh, you, you're not convicted, right? So when we're in Christ, we're not, con we're, con we're not condemned. We're convicted to move us forward. But when we're not in Christ, we, we, we are condemned. We feel condemned and then it stifles us. So I encourage you to allow whatever conviction that you have, that we may have today, to launch you forward into the better of what God has for you not uh, condemning you to stay stuck where you are so the enemy can have his way. That's not what we're doing. We're asking God to help us. All right, so this has been another moment with Yolanda. Hey, y'all, I'm slow on getting up and moving on this uh, exercise thing, but I'm, I'm about to do it. I'm not condemning myself. We're about to make it happen. All right, so love you guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time on another moment with Yolanda. Bye, y'all.